All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be installing a ceiling fan into the garage. Now I know some people are gonna be asking, Jeremy, why are you doing that? I know you have the mini split AC. You did the insulation on the garage door. Isn't it cold enough in there? Yes, it is. It's like a refrigerator in here. But in the evenings, I like to open the door and then there's a space on my ceiling that's perfect for ceiling fans. And I thought I wanna keep some air moving when the air conditioner's off. And this is the ticket plus summertime's here and it's getting hotter with the door open it does get hot in here. Let's talk about what it takes to get a ceiling fan installed in your house. If you have an existing fan already in place, this is just gonna be a quick swap. If you don't have a ceiling fan, but you have a light fixture there, then you're gonna have to do some sort of support up inside the ceiling that can handle the weight of the fan. If you don't know how to do that, you should hire a handyman or carpenter to take care of that. Um, I myself, I have a four by 12 ceiling joist here that are ex exposed ceiling. It screws right to it. I just have perfect locations to do both of these. So support is not an issue. Once you got the uh, supports in place, all it is is screw it to the ceiling, hook the electrical up, and bang, you're done and up and running. So without any further delay, let's hop into it and I'll show you how I did it. So whenever I'm installing a product that I haven't used before, I like to unbox it, get it all laid out, look at all the parts and pieces, use the instruction manual if you have to, but this is a pretty straightforward situation. We start by putting the fan blades on. They just slide right into place. There's two sides to these fan blades. One is a wood grain, one is solid white. Um, I got the solid white because it matches all the rest of my ceiling lights here. Slide them into place. Uh, put the screws in one by one. Just be careful not to over tighten them. This is wood. You don't want to torque it so much. You bust the wood apart. It's just not necessary. Just a nice little bite on them and you're good. We'll go ahead and put the rest of the fan together in high speed. Now that we got the fan together, we'll roll the fan upside down and now it's time to put the hanging post where it's going to hang from the ceiling. It comes with a four inch and a six inch depending on the distance you want it to hang from the ceiling. I chose the shorter one because I want it up and out of the way here uh, the best that I can get it so I put that on it just goes in with a locking pin and a cotter pin and a couple set screws really easy once we have all that in place we put it on the side now we need to deal with the electrical now you should have electrical ran to a good solid junction box or a ceiling fan box to call it properly uh, this is a heavy duty thick gauge metal box that's designed to handle the weight of a ceiling fan on it we got that in there we got our electrical all organized now it's time to hook it up. Bring the fan into place. Be careful climbing up and down that ladder. Put it into place and then now it's just a simple white, black and green wire connection with a wire nut. Make sure that you do your research on how to do that but, but get them good and tight. Give them a pull test and make sure that they're not coming out and then you can even follow up with some electrical tape around the wire nut and around the wire to secure it so you don't have to worry about any arcing or any wire nut falling off later. Now that we got that all organized, we'll tuck it away into the junction box. We'll go back up, we'll plug the light in and just a quarter turn and it's done, that's it. Now I'm not trying to discount the fact that you do need some handyman skills to do this. If you don't have it, consider it hiring somebody. That's what I always do. Uh, don't play around with electrical carpentry work or anything like that if that's not in your skill set but for most people that are garage type people mechanics like to get their hands dirty it's gonna be pretty easy for you so let's take a peek at this ceiling fan one thing I like about it turn it on the light comes on you can change the color of the light all the way down to almost full orange or yellow and all the way back up to match my detailing light so that's kind of cool depending on the mood you want to set turn the fan on And then from here, you're just controlling speeds. Um, basically forward, reverse, do you wanna blow air down? Do you wanna suck air up? And it's all controlled through the app too. The app works pretty good. I've tried it quite a bit and you can control everything even better than the remote, which I like. All kinds of sleep timers and you name it, anything that a smart device will do. So I'm really happy about these. They look amazing. The air is moving around awesome inside the garage now, even with the door open. And I even run them with the air conditioner on. It just keeps like air moving. That air hitting you on the face feels good. So tell me what you think. Do you guys have fans in your garage? Um, if not, are you planning on it? I'll tell you, if you are, consider one of these. They're pretty darn cool. Uh, as always, I'll have links to this down in the description in case you want to take a peek at them. Thanks for coming by today to watch the video, and we'll see you on the next one. These things are awesome. <clears throat> yeah!